The most notorious crimes in Columbus history, the Just Sweats case, had everything. Money, murder, and mystery. And just like the movies, a sexy leading man. It's been 25 years since a young CEO pulled a vanishing act with more than a million dollars. This RV park in San Diego is home now to John Hawkins. It's a world away from the life he once lived as CEO of a trendy clothing chain in Columbus and far from his life in maximum security prisons. By age 25, Hawkins had a chain of 22 stores called Just Sweats that sold workout clothing. Our product is geared towards students, mainly because of the, um, the concept, students live in sweats, it's as simple as that. As a curly-haired hunk, he starred in the commercials. I got uh, more attention than I should have gotten, more attention than most 25-year-olds get, and it went to my head. My focus was always about becoming successful. Then a national shoe company wanted to invest. His partner, Melvin Jean Hansen, wanted out and thought he'd get a buyout of nearly $2 million. But the shoe company wanted a two-year audit first. The partners had previously taken out insurance policies on each other, so they hatched a plan. He was gonna get all the money and I was gonna get his shares in the company. Hansen found the Harvard-educated Los Angeles doctor, Richard Boggs, to join in. It was a scheme to fake his death the doctor would purchase a cadaver from a medical school or a teaching hospital, identify the body as my business partner, sign the death certificate natural causes, and send the body to a mortuary. And my role was to have the body cremated, scatter the ashes at sea, and collect the insurance money. Instead, Boggs picked up a man at a bar, Ellis Green, and killed him, telling officials it was Hansen who had died of natural causes. Hawkins says he knew nothing of the murder. He flew to California, arranged for the cremation, came home, got the insurance, and cashed the check. But investigators were suspicious because the dead man's fingerprints did not match those on file for Hansen. At that point, I pressed the panic button and ran. He withdrew $400,000 from Just Sweat's accounts and fled to Amsterdam. He got fake IDs, including... Glenn Donald Hewson. And bought a sailboat so he could keep moving. He says he was horrified by Green's murder and consumed with guilt. He says he drank and chased women to ease the pain. I was lost, really lost. Despite plastic surgery on his face, Gene Hansen was nabbed coming back into the country with false IDs, including Ellis Green's. Both he and Boggs were tried, convicted of murder, and sent to prison for life. After three years on the run, Italian police grabbed Hawkins by his boat. Hawkins was convicted of conspiracy and sentenced to 25 years. I was actually in maximum security prisons the entire time. For the first 17 years, there was no glimmer of hope whatsoever. Then he got involved in a program to help troubled teens. Police and school principals brought them to prison to hear prisoner stories and to steer kids away from drugs and gangs. As John began to see the kids change, he changed too. It was for me an opportunity to give back and make amends. He counseled kids and worked so hard that people wrote letters to the parole board. After 20 years, Hawkins was freed. At first, he was overwhelmed. Computers and cell phones were new to him. It took him five months to apply for a learner's permit to drive, 18 months to date again. Now he spends time at the beach and speaks at as many schools as he can. He says he was an arrogant kid and wants to keep others from making expensive mistakes. I just feel very blessed to have a second chance. Dr. Boggs died in prison. Hansen remains there. Hawkins says he has no desire to see his old partner again. You can listen to the raw video of the interview with John Hawkins at 10TV.com.